People come from all over the world and live in many different areas. It doesn't matter if you come from a big population or small population community, everyone has something special that they bring to this world. Not many people know about my town. It is a place found in Ontario and is situated right between North Bay and Sudbury. It is called Sturgeon Falls. We are mostly known for our chip stand and leisure farms, which offers a variety of cultivated foods such as strawberries, pumpkins, corns, and many other attractions. This town has many wonderful places to see and visit. While some places are more popular than others, I think this is a huge problem in our society because some people don't get recognized for the things they do around our community. The one place I find is less recognized would be the West Nipissing Community Living Center. It is a group of people that come together to help out those with difficulties and disabilities and they help them find a place in our community. The Community Living Center has helped out so many different people in this community and has not been recognized enough for it. I am here now at the Community Center with Sylvie Belanger who works for Community Living. She is here to answer some of my questions about this Community Living Center. How long has West Nipissing Community Services been around the Sturgeon Falls area? So Community, community Living West Nipissing started in 1968. By, it was started by a group of parents and then we were incorporated in 1970 as a, a charitable organization, non-for-profit organization. How are they involved and how are they heard through all of life's busy schedules? So in all the programs, uh, we have core staff in the group homes and then we have core staff in all the other programs that are funded by the ministry. And our job is to support people to attend activities in the community, to um, develop connections with other people that are or develop or develop, develop friendships or make friends with um, people other than the people they live with or the people mm -hmm. they work with. Um, to be normali normalized as much as possible. Um, we, um, yeah, I guess, I mean. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of services do you provide for your clients? We provi provide a wide range of services, a wide variety of services from um, group living. Uh, so residential services are group living, so group homes. Uh, supported independent living where we support people in their own apartments in the community. We have about 30 individuals that live alone and then we have about 20 individuals who live with uh, families so like a sort of a host family program like foster foster care but for adults with developmental disabilities. We also um, offer day program services so we have community access supports where we support uh, individuals uh, in um, leisure rec or recreational activities volunteering activities or just to be part of their community um, and then we have employment supports uh, we offer on-the-job training and on-the-job supports for people who have uh, people with disabilities who have jobs in the community we have clinical services so we offer behavioral supports uh, for individuals who are duly diagnosed um, we have what else do we have I think I, I think that's it <laughs> group homes are there in town? We have five group homes currently. There are 28 individuals who live in uh, five of those group homes in the community. Uh, most group homes have between five and seven people. Okay. How important do you think it is for the clients to be included in the municipality's activities and to be accepted as a person? It's uh, part of our mission and our vision and it's what we're all about is making sure people are included as equal members of their, uh, uh, or equal citizens in their community. Um, we make it our mandate and our, our, our raison d'être mm -hmm. of including people in the community. Um, we advocate for people to be part of um, their community just like you and I would be. Um, we're, we really uh, focus on the person's abilities versus their disabilities to make sure that they live a normal life or a meaningful life, just like you and I would, um, you know, we take that for granted every day where we can be, we can, we can go anywhere we want, but for people with disabilities, that's often a challenge. So we really bring awareness to the community to treat people exactly like they, you would treat um, anyone else in the community and not see their differences. As we can see, Sturgeon Falls has evolved a lot over the years with the inclusion of the individuals with disabilities. Today, these individuals live a normal life in a community that is accepting of their uniqueness. 
Thanks to all their support workers and other people in the community, they are able to be heard in so many different ways.